for a first live TV interview. It's really good to see you. So good to see you in so many, so many ways. And this show is all about saying thank you. And I mm. know that those people really saved your life, didn't they? They did, absolutely. They were incredible, absolutely incredible. Now you went out there, you volunteered. Mm. Why did you make that decision? Because it's, you know, we all sit watching what's going on and we think, oh, that's terrible and we'd like to help. But mm. you actually got up off your bottom and did something. Yeah, I think it was difficult for everyone to, to see what was yeah. unfolding in the news, all the horrors that were going on in West Africa. I'd done similar things before, so it was, it's, I could do it, so yeah. I did. Yeah, you've got um, the skills. I mean, yeah. all, you know, most people. And no don't. one was surprised when I said that I was going. Yeah, they expected it almost. Uh -huh. It's expected yeah. of you to do that. Yeah. When you were there, you must have seen some terrible, terrible sights when you were there. Because mm. um, that was when it was really bad, wasn't it? It was, yeah, it, it was, it was. absolutely dreadful. Yeah. Have you any idea how you managed to catch it? Do you know? I've no idea. No. It's just one of those I'll never know. Yeah. No, because yeah. it's a really nasty, as we know, it's a horrible, horrible disease. It's mm. absolutely horrific. When did you realise that there was something wrong? Um, well, I just arrived back that evening, actually. I was just in bed. Um, I'd fallen asleep for an hour and I just woke up with like um, flu-like symptoms. Mm. And alarm bells would go because you would know, maybe? No, I was just, it had to be something else because it, it wasn't going to be bipolar. Well, no, you know, it could have been typhoid, it could yeah. be malaria. Yeah, <laughs> which is the lesser of, 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 of the great evil that that, that that disease is. So when did you think to yourself, actually, I need to tell people now because I'm getting a bit worried? Um, well, I was in contact with one of my friends anyway, and she actually works in the infectious diseases unit, so she just organised everything for me. Right. We knew, um, because we were returning, if anyone's ha had a fever of or course. was unwell, we had to be admitted to hospital. Of course. So. The thing about it is, Pauline, is that you, having seen what this disease did to people and the way that they die, and it's absolutely horrendous, mm. when you knew that you had that, you knew what was in store for you. Mm. That must have been... I don't know how you cope with that. I think, outwardly, I just tried to be stoical about everything. Um, but inside, obviously, I was very frightened. You know, I knew um, it could have gone three ways. I could have been very mild. It could have been severe, which was with me and it could have been death, you know, the other outcome, which I came very close to. But you did, you, you really did close. actually, you're very, very lucky to be here. I mean, it was really only the, the fact that the, the nursing care that you got, the medical care mm. that you got that actually saved you, was it? Yeah, it was, it was fantastic, yeah. Just from the word go, the treatment I had, um, yeah, it was just, just amazing, amazing people looking after me. Do you know if there's any kind of long-term effects at all or have there, has there been any effects on your health since? Yeah, I mean, I have had some side effects. I had um, like thyroid issues to start right. with, and then my, my hair fell out as well, which was awful. And um, past two, three months, I've been getting a lot of joint pain. Right. Um, but it could be worse. I mean, there's a lot of people that get problems with their vision, um, mm. people that go blind, hearing problems, things like that. I haven't had that, luckily. Right. So. so fingers crossed, fingers yeah. crossed. It's one of those things yeah. that you just, don't, you just don't know. Would you go back out there again? Mm. You would? Absolutely. You'd go out yeah. there and help? Yeah, wow. not, not for a while, but... <laughs> yeah, do you think your family would be happy with that? Because oh, they no, must have been so worried about you. Yeah. I'm so, so worried about What you. they went through must have been... Yeah, 